All right, so permitting. Um, I'm gonna step through all of the, uh, the permits that you have to get to build a house um, and, uh, and the order in which uh, you have to get them. So uh, the first permit I ever got was the curb cut permit from the, uh, the highway department of the, of the local town. Um, that was a really easy one. That didn't have any prerequisites and I was able to just fill out a form, didn't even cost anything, a curb cut application and it just basically you specify where you want your driveway to be and then you put that into an application with a photo and some other stuff and they just say okay you are now allowed to put a driveway here you just have to follow this this criteria and they tell you you have to allow drainage and put a culvert in and uh, remove a tree they told me they actually went out to the site and looked at where i want the driveway and the guy that did that the inspector just said i want these things done for it so I got that. That was a piece of cake. The next thing you need to get is your, uh, your liquid sewage permit from the, uh, from the health department. At least it's the health department in, uh, in Ulster County that I need to get it from. Um, in order to do that, you need to do a perp test, which is a soil test, uh, a shallow soil test, and then you also have to dig a six foot hole and they have to test percolation in the soil down there. And uh, you have an engineer do that and then you can file for your liquid waste permit. Um, but in order to do that, you need to get an excavator back there. Um, the soil, the ground in, on my property is very rocky and it's, it's just, there's a lot of like roots and it'd just be really, really difficult to dig a six foot deep hole by hand. But in order to do that, um, I need to get a piece of equipment with a backhoe back to the build site, which is about 1500 feet back into the property from the main road. So I, before I can even get this permit, I need to uh, build a driveway. I need to like fell like a hundred trees uh, for the driveway and the build site. And then I can get the, uh, the backhoe back there, do these tests and then get my liquid waste permit. You can't do anything until you get a liquid waste permit. So once you have the liquid waste permit, you can then bring a, a set of plans, a set of uh, engineered stamp plans to the, the building department or the code enforcer at the local town. And you'll go over those and uh, he'll check them out to make sure they, they uh, adhere to uh, the, uh, the national and the uh, state and the, uh, the local town code if they have it. And then you can get your building permit to start building your house. Um, I should also tell you that all these permits except for the curb cut permit do cost money. And the building permit and the liquid sewage permit are pretty substantial. I think a liquid sewage permit in my town costs about $400. The building permit costs about the same. The, build, the permits themselves are gonna add up to be like over $1,000 alone. Um, so then you get your building permit and you can put up your house. And throughout the building process, you have an inspector come and check various things like your footings, your foundation, your, uh, your, uh, your framing, your electrical, you have an electrical inspector come out for that, your plumbing, you have the plumbing inspector come out for that. So there's all these different inspections that are incurred with the, with the uh, building permit. Uh, the other two permits you need are a plumbing permit, and I'm gonna get a homeowner's plumbing permit and do the plumbing myself. I just have to provide an isometric drawing of the plumbing system and uh, submit that along with the application and the fee, and I can get that guy. And then I also need to get uh, my electrical permit, my homeowner's electrical permit. And um, I don't think I, I don't know if New York, if this town requires anything submitted for that. Um, maybe I have to pass a test or something like that. I think you might have to do that for the, uh, for putting in a septic as well. Cause you, that liquid sewage permit, um, if I got a homeowner's one, they would probably make me pass a test. However, I think I'm gonna hire the engineers to do that for me. So to sum that up, uh, the order of permits that you get, uh, try to get your curb cut driveway permit right away because that's gonna be the first thing that you do is make your driveway into your property. Um, once you have that and you, get, you can get a piece of equipment back to your build site to where your septic is gonna be, uh, you, get your, uh, you dig the test, you have an engineer come out to, uh, to do the, the perk tests and then you get your liquid sewage permit. Then you take your plans to the uh, to the code enforcer, the building department in your town, and you get your building permit. And once you have that, you can then get your plumbing permit, 
and your electrical permit as you build your house. And I think that pretty much sums up the permits that you're going to need. So here's my AC panel. And this is the circuit right here. So it was tripping in the, uh, you know, it's tripping off. And so there's this little test button.